talking about this. Oh, another beer! <laughs> Two beers today. What other beer did you have? Today? I had today the revival. Look at this. They brought in earlier. Look at this. Oh, but that's real beer. That's real beer. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, that's Sean Larkin. That's uh, right. Locally sourced uh, himself. So. Dan and I found out that we have a good connection from the Duck and Bunny over there. So or, um, we had a really cool conversation of the day, and I really, really was appreciative of it. Yes. That we talked about that we have this cool thing to share, that we're both from Snow Acuse, a.k.a. Syracuse. So right. and and they're from there. I'm I from went, there. You went, went to school, school there. there. That's right. That you went to school there. So we both know Lake Effect Snow. Oh, <laughs> Lake Effect Snow is scary as hell. So that was a cool thing for us to discover that... Uh, we both shared that snow, which was scary as hell. I hate Syracuse snow. Well, let's get into oh, this. Oh, you don't even need So that. tell me I what mean, you brought here. This is all America. Well, uh, you know, being that we're the only snuggery. Uh, oh, so, so snuggery is a big topic, I have to tell you. I'm getting a lot of questions. So let's talk about this snuggery. Well, uh, it's, a, it's a word. <laughs> it's um, a word. It means a cozy, comfortable place. Um, cheers. Cheers. And we felt that it was the best way to describe exactly what we were, what we were doing. Um, but part of that entails, if you're the first, that means you get to write some of your own rules. So we only have, there's like three or four rules for a snuggery, and one of them is no one drinks High Life alone. <laughs> so, cheers to you, man. Cheers to you. I'm glad you're drinking in the afternoon. <laughs> Me too. I'm a day drinker for sure, no question about that. So. First time I've ever seen the daylight. <laughs> <sighs> so... I have to say, there's a lot of amazing things about Duck and Bunny, and we'll get into that in just a second, but the snuggery thing was a huge question. So thank you for clarifying that. My friend Kelly Dolan sent me a uh, Facebook thing and said, you're her favorite snuggery. And I'm like, I didn't know there was more than one. So to my knowledge, we are still the only one. Oh, that's awesome. So um, I'm going to move and it was, it was It did come out of an exhaustive search of after we uh, designed the place, 200-year-old house. Uh, we do... 200-year-old uh, you know, house. It's a 200-year-old house. Um, and... We're doing like tea and cupcakes and crepes and beer and wine and uh, bacon wrap dates. I had that the other day. Amazing. Bacon wrap dates, absolutely amazing. Um, are fantastic. Um, and yeah, so it was just sort of a what are we? Um, we you know we do, we don't like the word cafe. It doesn't necessarily convey what we are. Right. We at, when we first opened, we really didn't feel that we were a restaurant. Um, uh, funny story, we opened with four people, um, and uh, a year later we had, uh, I believe, 25 uh, staff members. We were, we were very lucky in that. Uh, and you guys have, I mean, before we can get into the look stuff, you guys have an extensive hours. I mean, you've yeah. got breakfast and through the lunch. I mean, yeah, it, six it, days a week. Yeah. Um, we open at 10 every day, uh, and we close... Uh, uh, anywhere between 11 and 1 in the morning, and we do brunch every day. Which is unbelievable. So if you need a place to go for brunch, i got to tell you, you will not be displeased walking in there. It, the atmosphere, you guys have a beautiful atmosphere. It's comfortable as hell, and it, it's a constant buzz. Like, we, I was sitting there talking to you the other day, and there was someone that, it, it seemed to me that she had an English accent and was looking for a daughter who was apparently already in there somewhere. Right. But the, the, cons, the clientele and the people you have coming in is amazing, and it's, the buzz is happy, and it's enjoyable. The courtyard, which we've got outside, which I can't um, wait we, to sit out there. We do have, yeah, we do have a um, uh, what we call an English garden out back, um, and now is around the time when we start replanting, and uh, hopefully the weather stays the way it is, and we'll have an early spring. So going to the locally source, that garden is one of your sources. The garden is one of our biggest. Um, uh, seasonally, we get all of our local uh, local. We get all of our herbs uh, from our own garden, um, and we can do that about six months a year. That's fantastic. Um, and we've learned a lot about uh, gardening. Um, <laughs> I've been doing the same. <laughs> over the last six or seven years, um, certain things like uh, you can't kill mint. Once you've planted it, it will never go away. I've heard this. But place. that's great. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's actually a great thing for us, and that's it's the first thing that uh, pops up um, every spring. And uh, we do our own lavender. Um you name it. We anything. It's only gotten bigger and bigger and bigger as we. But as beyond our menu that, has expanded. Beyond that, you've got partners that from your own local source, and you've got partners that you're using too. I think it was cheeses we talked about, and yeah, um, uh, yeah, we use Shy Brothers uh, is one we use. We use Narragansett Creamery right, yeah. um, for several items, um, and actually, we do a we do a really nice cheese plate uh, and meat plate that. You know, we actually go to Vendor Ravioli up on the hill. Yeah, is you know what. 
It's the best. They're, They're the best. You want to get Italian amazing. meats, like uh, fresh Italian meats, and uh, they actually have a fantastic cheese selection there. And, they do. Last um, week we had um, the chef in from Vendor, from Costantino's and Costantino's, from Vendor Bar, yeah. and he was in, we were talking about pizzas because they got that unbelievable pizza. Oh, yeah. So they're a local resource. They absolutely, absolutely are. are. And their stuff is fresh, and it's amazing that they get in. So yeah. um, I have to tell you, when I came in the other day, Dan was nice enough to give me some cupcakes to bring home to my kids, which didn't last more than 30 seconds once they walked in the door. So... Beyond your hours opening at 10 a.m., there's somebody there that's uh, there a lot earlier who I met. Right, your head pastry chef. Our head pastry chef, Elise, um, is, um, I, on some level, I hope she never realizes just how talented she is. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, honestly, she's been a, a huge addition to our staff. Um, and yeah, she's there at you know four thirty-five in the morning. And she was telling me she's locally sourcing the items that she's doing to make these amazing things. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. This is a oh, the chocolate yeah. peanut butter. This is our uh, honey lavender banana Nutella, and this is our award-winning uh, carrot cake. That's so amazing. Um, I was going to bring you things that weren't all desserty, but oh, that's uh, awesome. and I, I brought something this. else, but I got to be honest with you, it didn't really travel well in the car. <laughs> so what do we got here? What's, what uh, here? This is a, an Angelina. It's one of our dessert crepes. Look um, at that. And uh, the, we have uh, Clumage on there from, uh, oof, I want to say Sharkner Farms or okay. Shy Brothers. Yeah. Shame on me for uh, mixing No, but up. local no matter what. And actually, we, we started making our own um, raspberry... Uh, chocolate raspberry jam in house. Really? Um, yeah, and you know, you saw our kitchen. It's, oh, about, yeah. uh, it's about the size of this little table here. Yeah. The uh, things that it amazed me. I mean, and, I, and I've been in the restaurant business and been through many restaurants, but to go in to see your kitchen, the way that they have a rhythm and a harmony of how they're going through this to make all that happen to come out of there. Absolutely, so. and it's a it's a massive credit to uh, um, Eric, who's uh, our head chef, uh, has been there um, since the first year. He came maybe six months after we opened. Our GM, uh, Ashley, uh, came maybe a couple of months after we opened, and they've been with us since uh, you know pretty darn near the beginning, and it's and we've been very fortunate in that regard, and we've grown. Uh, it's a house, you know. It's, it's a house. It's a little so family, I, I, and we, we I, have, fit in there. I have to give a shout out because I hadn't been to this house since it was years and years ago for a cafe. Oh, well, I think it was, was it Romanza's. Romanza's. Yeah, Romanza's. But I have to give a shout out for your wife, Jess. And Jess yourself. is, is the, and Jess is awesome. I know she's traveling something back and forth to Florida or whatever. Yes. But I have to give a shout out to my my good friend Kate Richards because if it weren't for Kate Richards, I would not have had the experience of getting to know the Duck and Bunny. And I know Kate is a good friend of your wife's and such. So absolutely, thank you, Kate, for making this introduction. Greatly thank appreciate you, Kate. it. Uh, yeah, uh, Kate's awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, we just had drinks actually like two weeks ago uh, <laughs> and caught up, and she's doing fantastic. She's work. doing awesome. Yeah. But your commitment and the things that you've done and speaking to Jess and then speaking to yourself, what you guys have done again with the, the, the chef said in earlier and you guys as proprietors is awesome. It's good for the state. It's good for Rhode Island. And the two of you coming back and investing in yeah. the state of Rhode Island has been a big deal. And yeah. it wasn't just this. So I, I mean, before we close out, I just want to say you have Ogie's, right? We have Ogie's trailer park on the west side. Yep. And um, we also we're in the infancy stage with uh, Great Northern Barbecue. So that's an announcement I want to make. So we talked about this yeah. the other day. Talk about that just real quick. So. Uh, well, we uh, we started a barbecue company about uh, not even a year ago. Um, we got everything together. Uh, we had a, uh, this giant smoker put together, um, and it was for the first annual uh, Ocean State Barbecue Festival. That was basically our goal to get up and running by then. And um, it, it just went fantastically. We won uh, Best Brisket in the State, uh, which sort of um, cemented, okay, we're not crazy, this is really good. So we have an amazing chef, uh, Jimmy James Caruso, um, who's worked locally and is extremely dedicated to it. And right now we're doing, um, we're actually selling the barbecue seven days a week out of the Point Tavern, which is next door to right, the Duck and Bunny. And yeah. starting in about a week or so, we're gonna start doing lunch outside of the Duck and Bunny. Uh, I mean, outside of uh, Ogie's Travel Park. Really? Where our, uh, uh, yeah, there'll be lunch outside. And then you're looking uh, for a location for a permanent... Yeah, we're looking for a permanent location, but we're also happy with the progress. That's um, awesome. And it, this is, and uh, the alliance that we have with uh, the Point Tavern, is, it's great. It's helping us 
you know, we can so feel. There's more, there's more to local source than just food. We talked about this earlier. So the staff, what you guys have done and working with your partners next door. So thank you and Jess for the commitment that you guys have made and coming back here and falling in love with Providence after being gone for so long. So yeah, appreciate it. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you Cheers. for joining me today. You really got appreciate it. it. Actually, can you do one more drink? Of course, I can do one more drink. All right, because so we pair everything. Everything is paired. It's very hard for me to say that I can't do one more drink. All right, so, so we can put these down. All right, we'll put these down. And I got to hear this fake beer. Drink. Kate's gonna kill me, but I'm gonna do one more drink. So. <laughs> Actually, the next person. Knock yourself out. The next person is my very good friend, Dr. Brad Turcata, so he'll forgive me. So yes. So uh, we pair everything, and uh, the Angelina is something we pair with champagne. So I brought you a little. I we do these little champagne. Uh, Look at this. I'm just looking forward to. Uh, yes, I'll share. <laughs> oh yeah, they're gonna hate you. Uh, yeah, we're not actually this. recording uh, my oh. alcoholism, are we? No, okay, no, no, not yeah, at all. Excellent. We, but we won't talk about his Vegas trip that he just came back from. But I don't even remember it. Cheers. Come on, there's nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that. Whoa. All right, I'm gonna, all right. I'm gonna take I'll that be sitting up. Rick, thank, thank you. you so much for having me on. I really appreciate it. Thank all you right. for joining me.